stirs in the heart of a young musician when he looks out over the thousands of adoring fans, all moving to the beat of his thundering bass. If you just let go and have as much fun as possible, it's going to be intoxicating. It's going to rub off on people, and they're going to want to have fun. If you show the slightest bit of hesitation or insecurity, they pick up on that. And so it's, it's all about just losing yourself in the moment and having fun, and everybody else picks up on it, and then they lose themselves in the moment. And that's what's awesome about the instant gratification of a live concert. Yeah. Their song, Sale, is at the top of the rock charts, and David, who's been at this since he was 10 years old, says, no matter where they are, Los Angeles, Berlin, London, the songs resonate. Top current events and topics that we talked about in our music that just resonates with the audience right now, and uh, they can relate with it, and, you know, that's awesome. So we could all come together and just have a good time, and they come out and they sing the words louder than us some of the time, and... Uh, it's great. Yeah, it's good fun. David's path into the music world came not from the world of rock and roll, but from the world of Mexican mariachi music. His great grandfather, grandfather, and father were all professional musicians, a legacy not lost on young David. It was important to me as a kid growing up. I think I realized the importance of it more being older, you know, than when I was a kid, because when I was a kid, I was just into just being a little punk, you know? But once you get past that stage, you start to realize, okay, this is, this is the real deal, and this is why I've got this music flowing through my veins. It's, it's, it all started there, you know? And uh, I would definitely pass that same tradition on to my kids, you know, and teach them about our heritage and where, where it all started and hopefully where it continues to go. And philosophically, what would he say to his Latino ancestors about his musical roots? I'd be like, do you like my band? Do you like what I'm doing? I'm sorry I'm left-handed. Such a disappointment. At age 15, David and two of his brothers played the Whiskey A Go-Go in Hollywood in a band called Chase. A couple of years honing his craft in some major bands like Under the Influence of Giants, Hoobastank, and fronting his own band, Hot Streets, he was ready for the success he's having now. It's awesome. I don't know what else to say. It's just really amazing. It's a, it's a blessing to be able to do this and uh, have people come out and like the song, sing along, and want to partake in what we're offering. He knows how rare it is to get a chance to play music professionally, and past failures have made him stronger and more committed to his craft. Hopefully we get to stay on this path, this trajectory, but, you know, I, I'm, not, I, I'm not opposed to the trials and tribulations of the hard work, because I think that makes us better people, I think it makes us enjoy it more, and uh, I love it. Super grateful. <laughs> as AWOL Nation prepares to conquer Earth on its world tour, I give David a piece of fatherly advice. Yes, I, I am know. his proud papa. Work hard, give it everything you got, and keep your feet firmly on the ground. Success will surely follow. I'm proud of you, son. Thanks, man. Thanks. Thanks.